Hey everyone, Rob from Overland Gear Guy, and uh, so I've had some issues with the uh, the new trailer we got. Uh, you know, the stage trailer. Um, had had some issues and uh, tried to contact the uh, the company that I got it from and the, and the warranty place, and uh, they don't want to uh, stick behind uh, what their what their warranty says, and uh, so we're we're going to go this route. Um, I would like to say that. This is the company that built it, and this is the company that sold it to me. Uh, the company that sold it to me, they're uh, they're trying to work with me and uh, trying to uh, trying to get this fixed. And they admit um, there's no doubt that the battery box was was uh, set in too low. and uh, I didn't hit anything with it but when it was uh, brought from Georgia to here um, I don't know um, you know what had happened um, in, in the rest of this video you'll see detailed pictures of just obscene amounts of rust uh, around the box the battery box that fell out from inside of the trailer um, and then it, it's hard to tell but the, the sides are just wavy it's hard to tell from right there and then look at this crap. I mean, look at the amount of rust. Come up here, just obscene amounts of rust. So I got a, a seal, a uh, weather seal that's uh, up in there. Um, it was leaking a little bit, not not terrible, but uh, oh, they agreed to send me uh, send me the seal. And then when this when this back door folds down, um, there's a there's a part of the board that the screws are just stripped out. Um, and oh, they're going to send me some screws, but it should have never been made like that. Uh, just really really poor poor craftsmanship. So if you can kind of see. The, the, the sides of the of both sides of the trailer they're, they're just all wavy and uh, it wasn't like that when uh, when they brought it here I've only used it twice so uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna get a heck of a lot worse or or what but uh, so watch the uh, watch this rest of this video for the detailed pictures and uh, and oh and their email responses and all the Better Business Bureau complaints, as well as the, the complaints on their Facebook page. Um, you know, like I say, I, I appreciate uh, Best Trailers, uh, you know, Roger, uh, you know, trying to do his best and, and admitted that this is absolutely, you know, the, the box was set in too low. Um, and again, I never hit a thing. Um, I've been on pavement, the, you know, the entire trip, took it to Moab and then took it to Flagstaff. And uh, so it's not like I'm off-roading it or anything like that. So, um, yeah, watch the rest of this video and uh, let me know what you think. Well, only the second trip out and things are falling apart. There's rust all over this entire trailer. Look at this. I mean, really? It's hard to tell from pictures and videos, but both sides, after using the trailer twice, looks like a dog's hind leg, how it goes in and out, in and out. This is really bad here. This part here just looks like it's sucked in too, too far, but it wasn't that way when it arrived. And after using it, this is what's going on. You can just you you can look at all the rust all the way around that, and and to run the wires through a through an un ungrommeted hole and stuff. I, I mean the wire. whole the whole thing was just done cheap. Yeah. I mean, I've done very few with the battery box down in the floor. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if we asked for that or you asked for that or what went on there. No, I didn't even know it was there. Even I got two sitting here in my yard, 
and the two sitting here in my yard, the battery box is on is sitting on top of the porch, regular plastic battery box. Um, and I know when they do an end floor spare tire mount, they put it right in front of the axles because at that point, it's not going to have the. I mean, generally, it's not going to have the ground closer mm-hmm. to the axles. Yeah. Um, I mean, the problem with where they put it is at the front, and if somebody's hauling it too low in the front, yeah, it could hit the ground. Mm-hmm. I mean, it sticks down past the frame of the trailer uh, too far. I mean, in, in my opinion, the battery looks like it's, the battery box they built looks like it's two inches too deep. Yeah. And then it's painted like shit. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, the paint looks terrible in there. But, uh... um, you know that's just, that's just a lot of money and and uh you know I, I appreciate you working with me but it looks like these warranty people we're, we're going to have an issue you know i, I can guarantee yeah, I, that i mean i'm on your side i mean i i mean i feel like it needs to be taken care of it um i sent an email and i they're gonna well which i talk to them every couple of days but mm-hmm. i don't talk to the warranty to caitlin's which warranty the brandy i got on there mm-hmm. she's the general manager yeah. And when I when I do stuff, I always include her because if they're jacking me around, I want her to know. Right. And yeah. So I mean, I don't deal just directly with with warranty. I deal with warranty and include the general manager, and that way they can. I mean, in my opinion of it, they need to give you a dollar value of what they pay to get it fixed as far as welding. Yeah. If it, I mean, that's the way I, I always suggest stuff um, when we do have a weld issue. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know down here, they, I mean, 200 bucks, you probably get a welder done. Yeah. Denver, I have no idea. It might cost 600 So, <laughs> But if they tell you 200 bucks to weld it, they send you a check for 200 bucks. You get it welded for 50 bucks, you're, you're to the good. If yeah. you get it welded for 400 bucks, you had to spend 200 extra dollars, which is. I mean, they, at least they, they put their effort in, and that's what I want to talk to them about when I call them. Yeah. I don't want to see her type all that crap in there. Mm-hmm. I ain't real good no. Time, but, yeah, I get you. Uh, yeah. So, and, and, um, so is is this Freedom Trailers? Be right too. And, I mean, the paint just uh, that is unbelievable. I mean, yeah. You know, and and we can't just paint over the rust. It's you got to we got to get the rust off there and then paint it. You know, it's just. Come on, people. Well, I mean, if you use a good direct metal paint, you can paint over the rust, but you still probably need to, it wouldn't hurt to wire brush it. I mean, yeah. but just regular dollar dollar general paint, I mean, or dollar store paint, yeah, it ain't worth the crap. You get some rust so in or something like that, some good quality paint to paint it with. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it, it, but if there's any any flaky type stuff, yeah, it needs to come off. Yeah. Um, so is is this warranty people? Is that the Freedom Trailers? Is is that who we're going talking with? Or? Yeah, because I, I don't warranty. I can't warranty. I mean, they're just their trailers. Their warranty. So yeah. Like you're dealing with with Ford. I mean, Ford. I can fix it here if it was here. Sure. And then I can turn around and charge them Ford. Yeah. But I can't authorize charges somewhere else. So I mean, it's their warranty. And that's the way they want to do it. That's the way all the factories do. Um, and what I'm crappy about it, I mean, their warranty is, I mean, you got to kind of work with them. So, I mean, it just just be polite and work with them. Um, because their warranty is, is at their factory. And they'll fix any, they'll fix, they fix every bit of this for free. Mm-hmm. But their factory's in Georgia. And you're in Utah. Yeah. So they're not going to fix it for free. They're, Hopefully they'll give you some, I mean, they'll work with you, is what I'm saying. But, but uh, what I'm saying is be polite. Um, and, and the, I mean, because it's easier to work with them, they're not mad at you. So. Yeah. And, I mean, I, I, know if you're, I know you're upset. And I'm, I, I'm, I am. I'm not happy about it either, but um, I'm going to be firm but, uh, with them when I talk to them. But I'm not going to be, I don't want to make it into a challenge Yeah. to work with them. Well, I've, I've, I've been done some investigation on them, and, and they've got a bunch of uh, better business complaints and, and other complaints, um, you know, about about them doing warranty work and just, just shoddy trailers and stuff. So they're, they're, they, they, there's a foundation out there for, for going against, you know, these.